What is going on, everybody? You got your boy GSY2K coming back at you again live from where else? My awesome game room. Anyway, I hope everybody's having an awesome week thus far. I hope everybody's doing well, staying safe, staying healthy. And I hope everybody had an awesome Christmas, New Year's, and for, well, that matter, Valentine's Day. I am coming at you guys today with just a small unboxing video that I've been saving for quite a while because, well, I don't really have anything to unbox or review for you guys. So this is something that I bought for myself um, over Christmas and I just left it in the box. I left it sealed and I just didn't do anything with it because I planned on doing a, um, a review video uh, slash unboxing video on it eventually. So today is going to be that day. This is the one product that I have to review for a little while longer anyway. I might have something else stuffed back there in the closet that I can review for you guys coming up here in about a month or so. But I want to throw this unboxing video out to you guys today because I greatly appreciate everybody staying connected in the community. I greatly appreciate everybody being here. And above all, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. Anyway, let's go ahead and see what I got to unbox today for you guys. So, no, nothing too spectacular, nothing too spectacular. Um, this is something I grabbed for myself, like I said, over Christmas time. Um, and I just haven't, haven't unboxed it yet. I did pull the plastic wrap off of it, but I actually haven't even opened it. I wanted to do it for you guys. So, I got myself, um, let me flip it around here. I got myself the limited edition collector set of uh, Marvel's Avengers. It's the Earth Mightiest Edition for uh, Xbox, my Xbox Series X, or whatever, you know, Xbox Series X, S, Xbox One, you know, all that good stuff. The uh, Microsoft uh, ecosystem, if you will. <laughs> but yeah, I went ahead and I got this for myself over the holidays. I got it on sale uh, at Best Buy, I think it was for uh, $99.99, so I couldn't pass it up. I've been wanting to play it for a while, and um, it looked pretty cool. It looked pretty cool, and I can't wait to load it up in my Series X after I finish this unboxing video for you guys. So let's go ahead and slide off the slip cover here. Comes with like this little uh, slip deal. There's the outside cover, real exciting stuff, I know. There's the, uh, I guess it shows on the back side there what it comes with. You guys can look at that right there. It's uh, pretty cool stuff. I'll just throw this aside for now. And let's go ahead and pop the cap off this bad boy right here. It comes in like this neat little cool, awesome box. I don't buy much um, collectors, collector's edition stuff or limited edition stuff. Um, simply because up until a couple years ago, I just um, transitioned out of the military, the army more specifically, and while I was living in the barracks and all that stuff, it was hard to have a lot of physical stuff, um, f especially physical games and collector's items and things like that. You know, I couldn't necessarily display it in my barracks room if I was going to be like, oh, you know, crap, I got to leave in a couple months, I'm going elsewhere, I'm PCSing, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, I'm deploying. You know, yada yada yada. So a lot of my um, a lot of my games. I know, I know. Quick story time here. A lot of my games for my Xbox One X that I had at the time um, wound up being digital just because of the fact. Well, all I need is an external hard drive, and that's all I need to carry around with me. Um, I just didn't have enough room, and it was just too bulky to carry around stacks and stacks and stacks of games. So it wasn't until I got out of the military um, that I started collecting. Not collecting. This is actually going to be my first collector's um, item or limited edition uh, set in quite a long time. I, had, I think the last limited edition set that I bought was Halo 5 way back when, I want to say. Yeah, I, think it, I believe it was Halo 5 Guardians. So this will be a really cool change of pace for me. I would like to get more stuff like this in the future. But let me stop rambling on here. Let's go ahead and pop the cap off this bad boy. So there we got the uh, the lid, the lid, we got the lid, and what do we got here? First thing that we're presented with looks to be like uh, I don't know, some sort of cardboard cutout. If I got that right, looks like a something you what pop together and it stands up. Well, actually, I can just go ahead and open it, huh? Yep, 
Yeah, that's that's interesting. Let me just go ahead and open this sucker up. Oh, okay, okay. So it's a, it's like a little folder. That's pretty cool. It's like a yeah, it's like a little little binder, little folder there. It's got the logo on the front, and what's inside of it? Oh, cool. It's got like the schematics. It's like a poster slash schematic board. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I like that. That's pretty awesome. Like I said, I really don't. I really don't get much stuff like this. So, I'm kind of like a kid on Christmas time. <laughs> you know, when I get something like this. So I'm 33 years old and I'm like a kid on Christmas time. Hey, whatever. It's all good, right? So we got that little binder thing right there. Let's throw that aside for now. And what do we got here? Marvel Avengers. Oh, cool, cool. It comes with like the, uh, almost like a postcard of the uh, Avengers there. I'm not going to unwrap all of this stuff. Um, I want to leave that sealed for now. But that's pretty cool. That's pretty awesome. Cool beans. Cool beans. All right, so the oh, okay, the next thing we have is going to be the steel or not yes, yeah, steel series. I'm about to say steel series. The steel book case to the game. Right there. That's really cool. I love steel books. Um, when it comes to Blu-rays or video games, I, I do like collecting steel books. I think they're very they're very neat looking, they're very clean looking, and it's just cool to have things like this. I'm going to go ahead and try to break the seal off this um, while I'm sitting here talking to you guys. Hopefully I can get it off pretty seamlessly. So let's see how this goes. But yeah, I, I love stuff like this. Like I, I used to collect a lot of steel books when I was uh, into collecting like physical Blu-rays back before I joined the military. And um, yeah, I have, a, uh, I have a couple steel books that I got over the holidays. Um, Doom Eternal was one of them. Best Buy had that on sale for, I think, like $19. So I grabbed the game for Xbox One slash, you know, Series X, the ecosystem. And um, I love that steelbook. I also have the uh, Halo Infinite steelbook that, again, I grabbed on sale over the holidays. And um, I, I could eventually show those off to you guys if, if you would like me to do that. It's nothing real, real spectacular, nothing groundbreaking, but it is nice. Okay, so I went ahead and I got the, the sticker off that. I try to do it as neat as possible. I don't know if you guys are like me, but I hate it when people just cut the sticker right there and there's leftover sticker on the top and the bottom every time you open it. It's, it's just annoying. It's an OCD thing for me. So let's go ahead and open up the steel book. And there we are presented with our Xbox One disc, our instruction manuals, and all that really nice, happy stuff right there. So we got, um, oh, yeah, I'll have to cut, cut part of that out. I'm over here showing stuff off to you guys. So, all right, so, yeah, there we have the inside of the steel book. You got your game. Very cool, very cool. I love, like I said, I love steel books. They're just cool to hold. They're really neat to look at. Just awesome all around to have. You know, nothing like having that physical, a physical copy. Something that you can look at on your shelf or your desk and be like, yeah, that's mine. Because like I said, all my stuff up until a couple years ago was digital. So now I'm really starting to try to get physical copies of a lot of things and go from there. All right, what do we have next here? We got this like little, almost looks like a, a, a processor cluster. Yeah, cl a processor clamshell. That's what I'm looking, the word I'm looking for. And what is this little thing right here? Oh, this is like a, um, it's a pendant. I guess I can go ahead and open this up and show you guys. I'm really, really small. So yeah, it's got that right there. Oh yeah, yep, and it comes with this little pendant. That's really cool. That's awesome. Cool. There's the backs to it. Nice. Ah, that's really cool. I get really excited about you know just small stuff like this because, like I said, I don't really have a lot of it. And I know this is not the most exciting video, guys, but uh, I appreciate you sitting here watching it, checking out my uh, collector's item here or my limited edition set, whatever you want to call it. 
Now let's see if everything can kind of go back the same way it comes out, right? That never works. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so that takes care of the top of it. Got everything out of the top. And what is this? Some sort of... I feel like I'm just doing a Chinese puzzle here. Okay, so we got that thing out. You got some tissue paper. Ah, uh, okay. Now this is where you get into the big stuff, I guess. The big stuff. Oh, wow. Okay. That comes out like that. All right, what do we got here? Ah, that is cool. That is awesome. Got Captain America. Got the Captain America statue. <laughs> that is so cool. And yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to display this. That's really, really cool. Give you guys a look at it there. What does it say on it? This nation was founded on one principle above all else. The requirement that we stand up for what we believe no matter the odds or the consequences. Steve Rogers, Captain America. That's really cool. I like that. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, turn them around there. Uh, that's really cool. Right on. So we got the Captain America statue there. Let's see what else we got in this here box. So far we made it that far. All right, let's go ahead and get the rest of uh, Captain America's boxing out of there. All right, what is this? Oh, that's just an empty filler box. I was like, man, that's a really light product. Nah. Let's keep going, let's keep going in here. Alright, we got it next. This looks like something that has to do with Thor's hammer. If I can get it out. Hey, there we go. Oh, hell yeah. That's cool. It's a Thor hammer keychain. Yeah, I'm not going to take this out of the packaging, but that's really cool. Show that to you. That's awesome. I'm actually just going to slip that back in the box for now. If I can get it back in the box, you know, like I said, things never come out or go back in the way they come out. It just never works every time you unbox something and try to box it back up. It never fails, right? Pretty sure you all can agree with me on that one. Tissue paper, good stuff. All right, next up, we got this little box right here. I know this video is not too exciting, guys, but I hope you're enjoying it so far, especially if nobody's seen the uh, Earth Mightiest Edition of Marvel's Avengers. Oh, cool beans. That's really awesome. <laughs> That's cool. Check that out. So we got that in there. Damn, that sucker weighs quite a bit. Almost looks, oh, it's a belt buckle, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below. It looks like some sort of belt buckle slash something like that along those lines. All right, so we are down to the last box now. This is the last box right here. Let's go ahead and check it out, shall we? Oh, yes! Yes! That is so cool. The last thing we got 
is the Hulk bobblehead. That is awesome. I don't care what anybody says. That's kick ass. <laughs> so that was the last thing we had in there, guys, was the Hulk bobblehead. That is so cool. All right, so let's go ahead and recap everything that we got. Of course, we got the Hulk bobblehead. <laughs> we have these two boxes right here with the belt buckle and uh, Thor's hammer. We had the Captain America statue, which is very cool. I can't wait to display some of this stuff. Had the Steel Series. Yeah, I keep saying Steel Series. I'm sorry, guys. Steel Book. Steel Book Series of uh, Marvel's Avengers. And we had that picture, postcard, whatever you want to call it. And we had that folder item right there, that like binder little thing. And I think that pretty much covers everything, guys. Uh, I took everything out. We checked it all out. Very cool, very cool. So yeah, that was the Marvel's Avengers Earth's Mightiest Edition for the uh, Xbox Series X, S, and uh, Xbox One. Just wanted to go ahead and you know unbox that for you guys, put a little bit of content out there. I know I haven't had anything in quite some time. You guys are probably like, you know, this guy disappeared. But I think that's been a long enough video for this unboxing stuff. I just wanted to bring this to you guys. You know, you can check it out. And um, I might have one other thing that I might do an unboxing in the next week or so. But uh, we'll see how that goes, you know, because I'm still trying to get back on my feet and um, go from there. It's pretty much what it comes down to. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I know nothing too exciting, but um, I hope you guys did enjoy it. I appreciate everybody sticking with me. I appreciate the community content. I appreciate all the awesome comments that you guys leave. I appreciate you being engaged. I appreciate every, every single, each and every one of you for what you do every single day, being here and just straight up being awesome. So, um, yeah. That's going to be pretty much it for this video, guys. Um, this is going to be GSY2K signing off for now. And please, stay safe, stay healthy, and as always, guys, God bless. I hope everybody has an awesome 2022 coming up. Have a great week ahead. Enjoy your weekend. Spend plenty of time with your family and your friends. I will catch you all later. We'll see you in the next video, guys. Peace out for now.